め合わせはここで死ぬから<音声>なるほど。<laughs> All jokes aside. So, the reason why amnesia is, I'm talking about amnesia, is because it's quite unique in, in certain ways.、Um, fun fact about this anime it was originally made as a video game,、um, then later adaptation to an anime. Now, I, I'm pretty sure everybody has seen and heard. This type of genre in one form or another, you have seen certain forms of it.、Um, now, the plot summary goes something like this A heroine wakes up on, on the morning of August 1st and discovers that she has absolutely has no memory of the past.、Um, a boy appears in front before her. And he introduces himself as a spirit named Orion.、Um, the heroine struggles to regain her memories under the guidance of Orion. She then、uh, gets a phone call, but she does not, want,、uh, does not recognize、uh, the name of anybody in her contact list, nor does she even remember any of the Close friends or people that claim that they know her, mainly Shin and、um, the other guy. I can't remember his name. I don't want to remember. I'll look it up. But、um, so, what, end up, what ends up happening is that she gets into some kind of accident、um, and uh, ends up supposedly look, looks as though she dies. Then When she, when she eventually wakes, comes to, and she regains consciousness, she remembers what had happened to her. Not aware that she's right back from the very beginning to August 1st. Now, this is like this cycle has been repeated throughout the series. So basically, when the heroine would die, she would switch to a new world where she existed or is still alive. First time the heroine was injured in a fire. At her university.、Um, on August 1st, when she was、uh, in, the, in the world、um, where she was dating Ukio, she was in a coma all the way up until, the 20,、uh, the, until she died on the 25th of August. Therefore, on episode 12, on the very last episode, found、um, pardon me, you found out that Ukio and The heroine could not exist at once. So the world would do everything in it within its power to kill one of them before that date.、Uh, so Neil kept, which is the, which is the、uh, Orion's kind of like、um, higher up, mainly like his higher up boss, whatever you like to call him. In different worlds、uh, to find her.、Uh, she kept dying in them though. It is, it's been killing Ushio, Ukio、uh, countless times, which is why he ended up going insane. But, but his other half,、um, which you will find out Neil, is try, Neil tries to his hardest to fulfill his wish. 
to see the heroine alive past the 25th of August. The ending, uh, which pretty much nobody really grasped because it really wasn't explained that good, and then people have mixed feelings about it, but you know, it's good in its own way. Um, the ending, where uh, the heroine stood in front of five cards when um, the question comes in. Everyone wanted to know what her real world was, including myself, basically. Like I said in the beginning of the video, it was based off of a game. Um, so you and the game, supposedly, you were able to choose um, which route. Uh, so the ending, it's a happy one for whoever you choose. Um, say you were going to be with Shen, or you were going to be with um, um, Kent, Iki, uh, Ukiyo, or Toma, um, basically. So that was the ending. It's like the ending was unique in the game. So, so in the anime, you did you did not you didn't know what happened to Orion and Neil, since because of the ending. Um, so in the game, both was actually punished for going through time, and they turned into humans. So there, there, there's that. There's that question answered. But overall, this anime was a great one. Um, I felt like I was on the edge of my seat every every step of the way. Even though people were disappointed of the ending. I felt like I didn't mind too much because it was just enjoyable. It was enjoyable to watch. It was enjoyable to learn what happened to each character, uh, or you know, mainly the heroine. Although we never really found out who the heroine, uh, who the heroine, basically the name, actual name. Now, if I'm, re I'm reading this correctly, in the game you're able to name the heroine, so I guess that's why I didn't have a name. The main character didn't have a name or so whatnot. I think, in my own opinion, it was more or less like a a new attempt at something new, and it did a very fairly average job. It was good. It was enjoyable. I loved to see them cross dimensions from dimensions. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was a fun little adventure, full of dimension crossing and a realistic point of view. Personally, I felt like Amnesia was a was a decent, well-ran show. Um, though they could have done things better, but it's really good for rewatching if you want to get into that again. Um, I rewatched it not too long ago. It was good. Despite my one little nitpick I had with the show was the fact that we probably needed like an OVA or something like that to just an extra episode to find out what happened after episode 12. I mean, a lot of people were kind of PO'd on that and didn't really, there were mixed feelings on it in general. Despite all of its shortcomings, I felt like it was a really good show and you know, a lot of people other did, other people really did as well, I think, in my opinion. Um, but yeah guys, if you haven't checked out um, Amnesia, I'd highly recommend it. I would not highly recommend, but I would recommend checking it out or giving it a shot. Well, yes, I do agree with the fact that there are other anime out there that are better than this one. I agree with that statement, and I stand by that statement, and I totally agree with anybody that has that argument. Uh, you have, like, animes like, um, Day to Live. Um, you have anime like... Um, Magical Girl Rising Project, that was a good survival show. Um, let's see. I mean, there, there's countless of them that I can't really name off the bat. But I have seen them nonetheless. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I think I'll end this, this video off here. Um, I hope you guys have seen Amnesia. And if you have, what was your first impressions? What was your impressions in general? What did you think of the anime, and would you watch this show again? Um, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you are new to my channel, please be feel free to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, that way you'll never miss a video, and you will be notified if I upload a video and when I upload a video. 
comment down below guys i hope you i hope to hear from you guys again i hope you have uh, i hope we have a good conversation uh, on the comments down below and um and if you want to see more throwback wednesday please please feel free to show your support by liking the video and sharing the video with your friends as well as countless other episodes that i put out and i've i've been proud of those for a while now i just it's one of my things that i really enjoy doing i love talking about anime i love being able to share my experiences and what i thought of these shows with you guys it's just it's it's my passion i could say with you guys all of all of you guys have been amazing thank you so so much for 139 subscribers you have been amazing you have been awesome you guys put this together you guys make it happen Without you guys, there would be no channel. There would be no Shadow Game X. From my bottom, from the bottom of my heart, guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I want to thank you guys for giving me your time and spare time to share my experiences with you guys. It means the world to me. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and chicken grease, guys. <laughs>